Hi there guys, it's me. Um, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been on my channel for quite a while now and that's most probably because I've had a lot of exams going on and, and you know, summer holidays and everything. It's just been a bit hectic right now. But I'm back and I'm here making videos today. So today I'm going to talk about the new feature on Instagram which we now know as Instagram Stories. Instagram Stories is a new feature on Snapchat that allows you to take pictures and add them into a, like a slideshow that only lasts for 24 hours and after the 24 hours they disappear. Sounds largely familiar to something we probably all know, right? I too myself have been wondering why Instagram would have done this. I mean, I have both an Instagram and a Snapchat account and it really puzzles me why Instagram would have added Instagram Stories to an already excellent social networking site. Many people have had their speculations on why Instagram would have done this. Um, I'm just going to discuss a few of them now. So, after doing some research, I found out that around two years ago or so, um, the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, decided that he wanted to offer Snapchat £3 billion to buy into their company. However, after negotiations, Snapchat turned down their offer and decided to keep their company as themselves, independent from Facebook. Instagram's already a part of Facebook now, they, Facebook has already bought into their company as well as others such as WhatsApp, etc. Furthermore, from my research, I've also found that Snapchat is actually top of the market for ephemeral messaging. The social networking market in itself is very competitive, so Facebook had to find some way to compete with Snapchat, the top of the ephemeral messaging market. So what the CEO of Facebook decided to do was to bring out a new app called Poke. Or poke, pokey. Anyway, regardless of the name, it was very. It was an app very similar to Snapchat, but didn't really go well on the market. It didn't have many downloads. Not many people were really using it. It wasn't the best of apps at all. Obviously, Facebook's first attempt was not going to be their last attempt, so they decided to bring out another app. This app again was called Slingshots, and I'm not even sure what this app was meant to do. It was a messaging app, a bit like Facebook Messenger, but it, again, it was just a self-destructing app. It wasn't very good, not many people used it, so there was another failed attempt from Facebook, as just as Poke. Anyway, after all this, many people have come to the conclusion that Instagram Stories is just another one of Facebook ploys to either compete with Snapchat in the ephemeral messaging market, or to kind of get back at them for, you know, not accepting their offer those two years ago. Moreover, many Instagrammers today are actually quite unhappy with Instagram Stories. Many have just gotten used to it, but others are actually quite furious with Instagram for copying Snapchat. For example, this is my Instagram right here. It's not my actual account. I'll show you my account at the end. But I mean, if I just click on, I don't know, any random one of these add on Snapchat. I mean, this is what people are doing these days on Instagram. That's just one of many examples of most of my followers or people who I follow who are what, what they're putting on the Instagram stories. They're not putting on stories of their lives or what they're doing, but they're kind of spiting Instagram for something that they've done or a new, this new feature that they've added to their social media. So the real question for Instagram stories these days is why did they actually do it? Why did they make this new feature that almost seems like they are copying Snapchat in a sense? Has it really benefited Instagram as a social network, or has it actually more or less backfired and given Snapchat more popularity? Anyway guys, thanks for watching my latest video. Uh, yeah, I have been gone for a while, I'm really sorry about that, but I'm back on track and I'm going to be making a lot more videos these days. If you liked this video, just hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back again very soon to talk about something a bit less controversial about social media, maybe more about the news and about the outside world. Thanks a lot, see you later, bye! <laughs> I, I, I meant social network, sorry guys.